Hey guys, how's it going? Zeke here and in today's video we're talking about the Magic Lantern RAW workflow that I use. Uh, I've been shooting Magic Lantern RAW for about two or more years now and I've got to say I'm extremely impressed with it every time that I shoot. The main cameras that I use for Magic Lantern RAW is the Canon 5D Mark II with 11.9 stops of dynamic range full frame raw and the quality is absolutely amazing from this camera, highly recommend it. And the other camera that I use, it's more compact and small, uh, it's the Canon EOS M and I've pretty much used this for the uh, majority of this whole channel, this whole YouTube channel. I've been using Magic Lantern RAW to actually record myself and record out in the field, create short films, uh, all sorts of stuff. Uh, this camera has been absolutely reliable for me and I've just had fun using it. Now when you shoot with Magic Lantern RAW, the files are a .mlv file and you need special programs in order to work with these files. Now the program that I use is called MLV App, it's absolutely free, I'll leave the link in the description below. Um, it's available for Windows users, Mac, uh, Linux. Uh, for me, I've loaded it on my MacBook Pro 2012. It's got 16 gig of RAM, uh, 512 gig SSD. It's got 2.7 gigahertz and it is an i7. Now up here, I've got MLV app. Uh, this is what I've been using to convert all my raw video files and edit them. Uh, it's pretty much like Photoshop or Lightroom. Uh, you've got hue versus hue, hue versus saturation, you've got curves. Uh, you've got contrast, vibrance, gamma all that awesome stuff, you've got it here. Uh, you've got distortion correction, vignette correction, uh, so a lot of good stuff to work with on this free program. So right now we're gonna get into the workflow uh, that I use on MLV app. Um, the settings, the tips and tricks that I use, just pretty much everything that I do on this program, as well as what happens when I export it. Uh, I use Final Cut Pro X to deliver the final footage and so I'm going to go over what I do in Final Cut Pro X once I've exported it from MLV app. So let's not waste any time, let's get right into it. Alright, so here we are. These are my Magic Lantern RAW files, .mlv. Uh, I've got a few of them here and you can see the file sizes vary. So what I'm going to do is, I've opened MLV app and I'm going to drag these files right in. Alright, so here are all my files, uh, you can play back and your audio levels are just over here, you can see them. Uh, they'll turn red if they're clipping. And the, here is your FPS, so I'm playing back at around 5 to 6 FPS. Um, different iMacs, different computers will you know, go faster than this. This is just a MacBook from 2012. Um, but as you can see, the Magic Lantern RAW clip looks really, really good. Uh, this is the RAW file from the Canon 5D Mark II. And the rest of these are from the Canon EOS M. So I've got one from here, and then you can see as I play back, it's showing you the full quality that the raw video has captured. So the first thing I do here is I go into Edit, Import Receipt. Receipt is just saving all the settings that you've done in previous videos. So you can save those settings by say Export, or you can import the ones that you've done in the past. So I'm going to go ahead and import this one here, ESM Film Preset. I'll leave the link below so you guys can download it and use it as well. Uh, this has pretty much been an absolute beast. Uh, it's worked every single time. You can tweak it around. But once you apply it, there you go. You get all the settings that I've used in my previous videos. Just look at the overall image, seeing what you're getting, and then make adjustments based on what you're seeing. So vibrance, I'm going to go to around 20. And honestly, I think that looks good enough. If you want to play around with the curves and stuff, uh, you can definitely do that. MLV up is just a wonderful tool. Uh, for Magic Lantern users. I got my Canon EOS M for $99 and this is the raw video that you're getting. I think this was with the 7 Artisans, 55. Uh, you can increase the clarity if you like to get more detail. Uh, then I copy this and so once you click the copy you can copy what uh, settings and presets you want from this clip and then uh, paste it onto your other clips. So white balance I usually untick that because I don't want the white balance to vary unless I need to change it. So click OK and go somewhere over here and click paste and so it's pasted all my settings these blue things over here the scattered dots are showing what uh, areas in your footage is crushing the black so if I press Z it takes them off and I press Z again and it's showing uh, where the shadows are being crushed so if you go into view you can select what you want to view you can view the histogram the wave monitor um, parade vector scopes and zebras, so you press Z for zebra, and then it'll take them on and off. Uh, this is not an extremely bad thing, it's just letting you know, so you can make adjustments. Uh, so, 
here we go. I've pretty much just pasted the uh, presets from the previous clip and it's ready, good to go. I'm extremely happy with this. Uh, if you want to bring the highlights down, you can go ahead and do that. There's lots of stuff here, curves, gamma, sharpen, I've got to 75. And then you can adjust these as well. All right, so I'm happy with this clip. So what I'm gonna do is copy the settings from this clip and then paste it to a previous one around the same scene. And I press play on that and then press paste. And there you go, I'm extremely happy with this. Um, you can, you know, look at the walls and see if it's yellow, if it's too warm, you can bring the temperature down just a little. Uh, maybe bring up the exposure. And there you go, I'm extremely happy with that. So I'm gonna just copy the presets here, go to another scene, and press play just to see how everything goes, how it looks. All right, and then I'm gonna press paste. So right now I've pasted my settings, and there you go, it's really simple. This Magic Lantern stuff just works uh, extremely well. MLV app has come a long way, and it's great for users who are into this type of stuff, playing around with raw footage and just learning about curves. Uh, saturation, color, and all that stuff. So I'm going to go over this clip. Uh, this was recorded with a different lens. Press paste. All right, so with the blue stuff, you can see what's being crushed. Press Z. Press it again and increase the exposure just a little bit. Maybe bring the highlights just a little bit down. Press Z. And then I'm extremely happy with that. With raw footage, you can just play around with so much. You can adjust the tints. So if I think it's a bit too green, I can make it a bit more on the pink side. And press play on that. There you go. Now I'll go back over here and copy the settings that I made in this clip and paste it onto this one, which was recorded around the same time. And look at that, you've got your footage right there. Now, if you get aliasing in your footage, what you can do is go down to CAD Satcha, uh, just increase that to 100%, and that will really eliminate all the aliasing in your footage. It does reduce the quality of your footage, so just keep that in mind. But if the aliasing is unbearable, then go ahead and set that to 100 uh, for the sake of saving your footage. But I mean, this is pretty much what I do, just copy these settings and paste them to all my clips and just make, you know, a few adjustments if needed. Now, I'll press Z, and you can see there's a lot of shadows being crushed here, uh, which is not a bad thing. There's nothing you do to save them, otherwise you will just expose the noise. You can bring down the exposure further if you want to, you know, regain the dynamic range in the sky. So, it's a bit like Gotham City. And there you go, press play on that. So extremely happy with this one. Now I'm gonna go over here and then import my settings that you guys can have access to in the link description. Click open, we don't want the white balance. And now double tap exposure to set it back to normal. And then slowly adjust it to where it's appropriate. Press Z to see where it's being crushed. All right, and you can adjust the temperature as well, just slightly. All right, extremely happy with this. Uh, so from all this stuff, you just highlight all of them and then you press the export button over here. And this will show you where you want to export it to. You can export it to SSD drives, hard drives, uh, wherever you have lots of space. Uh, these settings that I use is Apple ProRes 4444. Um, and the Kostya Force Amaze, and then I resize it to 4K, 3840 by 2160. Um, you don't have to, you can do it 1920 by 1080, this works absolutely fine, uh, but it's extremely up to you. Or you can do 2.8K, 2880 by 1620, this is also a good option. Pretty much just, or you can just change the codec to H.264. Now this, now the H.264 codec will have much, much lower file size compared to Apple Pro's 4444. H.264 looks very, very identical, um, extremely similar. It just has um, a bit more saturation and just has that 8-bit quality look to it. Uh, it's definitely not bad. I've used it before. You guys haven't noticed. So uh, if you want to save file sizes, then H.264 is the way to go. Now if you want to export to DaVinci or Premiere Pro and you want really extremely fast export, Cinema DNG uncompressed is the way to go so if I click that you can do default naming scheme or you can do DaVinci Resolve naming scheme and this is not going to get anything of this this is just going to get the raw data that you imported into this MLV app it's not going to capture anything that you've done here so everything will be done in MLV app exactly the same way you do with Blackmagic cameras so if I export all of these with Blackmagic I'll click desktop and you'll see how quick this will take 
So these are all DNG exports right now, uncompressed. So you're getting the absolute highest quality you can get out of these .mlv files from Magic Lantern Raw. So these clips are around 10 seconds each, uh, some are around a minute or so. So this is extremely fast. So if you want extremely fast export, then uncompressed DNG is the absolute way to go. Codecs such as ProRes will take a long time. For fast exports, what you're looking at is a better GPU uh, in terms of graphics, so NVIDIA GTX series um, or Radeon stuff. So once finished, you'll say export aborted and then you will have all your clips that you've saved. So these are my uncompressed DNGs and these are the ProRes clips that I saved earlier today. So what I'm going to do right now is paste all these ProRes clips that I've exported um, onto my editing software which is Final Cut Pro X. So go ahead and drag these on and then we'll zoom in a bit closer. So now I can go ahead and play them. Lens, press paste. Alright, so these look really really good. Um, I exported these as HD, so this is not 4K, but straight off the bat, I mean, MLV app has done an absolutely amazing job quality is really nice. This was with the EOS M and I've exported as HD. Now what I do in Final Cut is I usually just order them. Uh, if the clips are too long then I shorten them. If I don't need the audio then I'll just highlight all of them. I'll detach the audio and then I'll pretty much just delete them and then replace it with a soundtrack. Now looking at these clips I can see they're all varying exposure. Now looking at this clip over here I can see that zero is where the shadows should be and below 100 is where the highlights should be. I can see with this straight line that I've clipped the highlights around here, so there's nothing I can do to recover them. But um, looking at the shadows here, I'll need to fix that, so I'll just go into my color wheels and then bring the shadows down until I hit level zero. Uh, just to make further adjustments, you can bring down the midtones just a tiny bit, and then with the highlights, I'll bring them down to around 90. And then so just say I increased the shadows, this might look right on my laptop, however if I post this on YouTube it's going to look like S-Log because I didn't fix the shadows, I didn't bring them down to zero. So just make sure you got this waveform correct so that no matter what system you're viewing these files on, uh, they all look identical and the, the exposure is correct. Go on to other clips and make small adjustments, so I'm missing a bit of shadow there, so I bring it down to where it's about zero. And again the highlights are being clipped, so I just bring them down to about 89 and there you go. With this clip I'll probably just increase the midtones a little bit. Now the H.2 and then bring down the highlights just a tiny bit. What are you by 21? Now paying attention to here I'll need to bring down the shadows a little just to meet level zero and there you go just about done. This is pretty much my workflow from MLV app uh, converting the MLV files and then placing them into Final Cut Pro X and then just doing these minor adjustments and that's pretty much what I do each and every time. Alright guys, so when I'm ready to export, uh, what I do is go into File, Share, and then I select Master File. And then it will show everything here, 3840 by 2160 so I'm obviously upscaling my movie. 24 FPS, 48 kilohertz, and that's the file size right there. So I click on Settings, and then I go here to better quality rather than faster in code format computer so here it says there's a .mov file and then I just click next to export save to desktop or an SSD which will be quicker and click save so this is pretty much my workflow for Magilantan raw video so thanks guys for watching that's pretty much it what I do with these Magilantan raw cameras how I edit these footage uh, hopefully you got something out of this and I will see you in the next video bye for now